here we are, back in the studio. Still printing, still working on erasures, but finally to the point where I can print the additions. So I have six different prints that I am additioning with six prints of each, except for the Chincole ones. I will do eight because Chincole can go wonky. So I have a cushion of two for those. And it's a lot of tedium. Um, this is the part where you better know your alphabet of printmaking or it'll go terribly wrong. So this is all of the technical stuff that seems to fascinate people, but I find tedious, but you better know it. So when I used to teach, I, I would say this is the alphabet. You can't write poetry just because you know the alphabet, but you need to know the alphabet. So this is the printing. You try to have all of the ink ready to go so that it's all the same color because temperature and slight different nuances can really change the way the ink prints. And so I'm trying to do this all in one day or two days um, to keep things as close to being a, a controlled as I can temperature wise because after all it is winter in our mountains and yesterday morning was what 20 and today it's 60 so um, so this is just the first layer of, of this particular print and um, I will print these and then I have to let them dry and do a few more things before I print on top um, so that's why I'm doing this all at once and then it'll be dried in about a week to 10 days, depending on our humidity. And um, I can print again on top, so. And this one being, having a lot of spit bite in it, I have to be very careful how I ink and wipe. So it's very easy to wipe too much off or leave too much on, so. Lovely, lovely, messy, messy work. And I expect to be done by the end of January, I hope. That's my goal. It's something that was started in the beginning of August should be done by the end of January, I think, I hope. <laughs> 